Hey Aquarius, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And you guys, today I'm doing your first half of June 2020, Torn in Between the Two series, okay? And if you, if you guys have never seen this series before, then I'm definitely going to give you the rundown, but not before you guys go ahead and subscribe to the tribe. I'm definitely Aqua Sub myself, so this is definitely Aqua Gang Gang up in here. And y'all already know, put it in the description. I mean, put it in the comment section, but do check out the description so that you can see how you guys can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat, okay, guys? As well as book a personal reading with me because people absolutely love that one on one energy. Okay, so if you think this resonates, then book a personal so you guys can really see how deep we can get. Okay, guys, so um, now that we got that out the way, the Torn in Between the Two series is definitely a series that gauges the energy of you towards your primary partner and toward, then towards any third party. So this is a third party reading, okay? And then we switch it up and we do the cross watchers energy towards you and towards any third party that they may have, okay? So this is just basically seeing where your current relationship is at. Some of you guys already know, y'all halfway out the door, but you know, if you are on the other side of something and you're just trying to figure out what's going on, then this is a good reading to watch. Time and energy is fluid here, so yes. Um, your energy can definitely be coming up as the cross watchers energy. Just switch the energies if that's how it is, okay? But other than that, I'm ready to hop right in for y'all aquas, okay? So this is for my Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the first half of June 2020 spirit. What is Aquarius currently feeling about their primary partner? And don't worry, I do singles after this. A batch of singles. Let's see. What is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus feeling about their primary partner for the first half of June 2020? Mm-hmm. What's this? Happiness. Okay. So some of you Aquarius, y'all definitely in a new relationship. And if it's not new, then you guys are just feeling happy. Okay, there's a sense of happy energy, especially with that sun card. And you guys can newly be happy with someone because whenever I see a pair of anything, it doesn't matter whether it's animal people or whatever, but whenever I see a, a depiction of any two things that match, then that's definitely like either a soul connection. I do notice that one of the dolphins is smaller, so maybe you guys have kids and everybody's just happy right now. Okay, let's get two more for Aquarius and how they feel about their primary partner at this time for the first half of June 2020. So that's good, y'all. Flexibility. And then we have power in reverse, okay? So I don't know. That's the only thing that I'm not quite happy about. Um, this can kind of indicate that you have, that you feel quite powerless next to your partner um that you don't have control over the situation which honestly with the happiness here it's like do you need control over something that makes you happy so right now aquarius you could have somebody wow at the bottom of the deck is love okay so new love is coming in aquarius if you don't already have love in your life it's coming it is coming and that's good to hear sorry i'm up here knocking over my selenite <coughs> But yes, I definitely want to understand why power is here. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if the emperor show up in reverse. Because for power to be in reverse, when it comes down to how you feel about your partner, um, that may be because they are overpowering, you know? So let's see, why is happiness here? A lot came out, too much action. Who, look who reared their little face. Didn't I say this? I feel like keeping it, y'all. I'm not going to lie because I said I'm just waiting for the emperor in reverse to come out. And I could tell somebody here have a power struggle. So you could be happy with this person and you could be flexible with this person. You may not have no choice but to be flexible with this person because this person is rigid. 
all right so you're dealing with somebody that's rigid you real flexible you try to see things from all angles different perspectives and look at things from a fair view you know you try to be learnable teachable you know the type of person that's like okay that's not my way of thinking but i do want to understand it well you're dealing with somebody and i mean obviously they're still making you happy aquarius or this can be somebody that you leaving behind but with the emperor in reverse and power in reverse and power in reverse. I'm definitely getting that if you do feel powerless or a lack of control when it comes down to your life or the situation, which is a part of your life, so it affects your life, it's because you have somebody that's overpowering, overbearing, um, somebody that always has to be in control in the most negative way. And maybe you just kind of bow, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you just kind of submit and allow it, you know, because this person makes you happy. But I need to see more. I need more. Tell me more. I'm just playing. Why is happiness here? Now, is the Ten of Cups going to come out? What, what, why is happiness here? Honestly, no. <laughs> Actually, the Queen of Cups in reverse came out. As well as the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, guys, so I ain't going to hold y'all up. Y'all actually could be leaving something behind to find happiness, all right? I was up here thinking it's a brand new relationship and maybe you guys do have something on the other end, but what I'm getting here is a lot of negative communication. Um, this could definitely be, be a past situation that you're overcoming. Yep, you definitely are. Because when I see the hermit here, this definitely speaks to you having time to yourself away from whoever this is. But whoever this is, what I get a sense of, and this could have been behind the scenes, and that's the reason why happy and flexible is coming out with power in reverse, is because I do feel like even if this was a troublesome situation, you really were trying to make it work is definitely what I see here, especially with flexibility. Because to me, that's somebody, that's a partner, a friend, or a family member, coworker, neighbor, that if you have certain complaints, they don't mind trying to be flexible enough to like okay well we can work something out you know we don't have let like let's try to make all parties here happy okay no matter what the outcome is gonna be let's try to do it in a way that's most comfortable for everybody but somebody here i feel like is sacrificing their comfort sacrificing their emotional stability to make others happy it's a lot of negative talk going on here, a lot of immature communication, a lot of invasion. I see that as like even a hacking card where, you know, somebody can be like going through your stuff, going through your emails, um, logging into things that they're not supposed to be accessing here. So let's see why flexibility is here. Why is flexibility here? King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here is super rigid and they really don't care what others think. It's like, yeah, I'm controlling. This is the type of person that would admit that they're controlling. And whoever this is, they ain't even giving breadcrumbs to be controlling nothing is what I'm seeing here. So I don't know, like I said, this could definitely be a situation that you've actually left behind Aquarius because... This really, really, for you for you to be in a place of happiness right now, this has to be past. This has to be something that you're getting past, but this is somebody that pulled back their energy on you. They got real defensive on you. They turned their back on you, um, and they controlled the situation that happened in their favor, and it left you feeling extra depressed. Um, it left you, or situationally depressed anyway. I'm getting the sun in reverse. That speaks to a lot of unhappiness within this connection. <laughs> Definitely could have been a Taurus energy. Mm -hmm. Whoever this masculine is, then I say the Ten of Cups is going to come up. So, yeah, everybody saw y'all as happy. Everybody saw you guys as in love. Um, maybe even everybody seeing how much you tried to make this person happy, but they still left you feeling powerless or like whatever you did never really matter um the ten of cups is here that's representing family maybe it was kids involved if it was kids involved i i definitely get that you was trying by any means 
to not have the family separated. So if it took for you to have to be flexible or if it took for you to have to adhere to somebody else's views, thoughts, opinions, as well as way of living, then you would do that just to keep some type of peace here or just to try to save the connection because it's looking very unhappy. It's looking like nobody's really giving and whatever's being given is being half-assed given, you know, and then whoever is supposed to be on the receiving end, they barely want it. Okay, so it looks like this is a situation with that. I don't know. I don't know what, what would be the reason why it's continuing. But why is the Queen of Cups here in reverse? Mice. All right. Let's get one more for the Queen of Cups in reverse and the mice. Because that's a sabotaging energy. Like the mice. Yeah, that's the thing. Okay, so... I feel like this Queen of Cups, which could definitely be you, because a lot of us are very empathic, intuitive, and um, have water in our charts. But I definitely do feel as though you guys discovered something. You discovered something. You discovered, like, you you really started to see that somebody was putting on for you, you know, or putting on for the public or whatever. But whatever the case is... You notice that behind this person's smile, it was like some very devious behavior, like just doing stuff, do, doing stuff that you would never think that they would do. And I feel like that's what hit you guys emotionally the most. Why is the page of swords in reverse? It's definitely a lack of truth here in the situation with the page of swords in reverse. So that could be somebody that's omitting the truth and that definitely can be like this emperor King of Pentacles in reverse energy because I definitely feel like that's that could be the reason why you feel powerless is because you don't know the whole truth. It's like so much that's hidden, so much sneaky behavior going on, possibly. I'm not really getting secrets yet, but I can just tell by the lack of truth here, whether it's that you be you not being truthful with yourself and you painting this person out to be something that they not or that they not being truthful with you about who they really are. And behind the scenes, they really be on some whole nother stuff when they with you. It's like all commitment, okay? Hold on, y'all. But yeah, whatever the case, we about to get to the bottom of that. Why is the Page of Swords here in reverse? Courthouse. Let's see. One more. Mature mail in reverse. So it's definitely somebody here that's trying to paint an illusion about their persona and their behavior, their intentions, the stability of the foundation of this situation, as well as the status of this situation. So I got somebody that's completely oblivious to the true nature of this commitment. Somebody here thinks that this is still an ongoing relationship. When on one side, if this was to be a heart monitor, it would be flatlined, okay? Because somebody over here, they have no emotions. They're not happy. They're not sharing. They're draining the power. They're draining energy from you because power is what? Also energy. You know what I'm saying? So they just like making you feel less and less empowered every single day. Um, and more than likely that's because you not in a state of clarity. Maybe you communicating with this person because you feel a change, but it's not quite being admitted to you. Like, yeah, it's the truth. You know, I'm really not feeling this anymore. Blah, blah, blah. And you know, guys, we get repeat energy, but that's because there's so many different Aquarius that's on different timelines, you know? So that's the thing here. Like for some of us, this happened a year ago. For some of us, this happened two years ago. But for some people, this is happening right now, you know, because I do. I was so happy when I saw happiness because I'm thinking that something new going to come out. But this has been the same energy. And honestly, you guys, if I'm if I'm going to be honest, it's because energetically this cycle is not closed yet. I'm keep getting I keep getting things that's supposed to be dead or that's supposed to be released still being clung on to. All right. I don't quite know why courthouse is here. Why is courthouse here? Time. Let's 
Somebody went. <sighs> I'm gonna just keep it real. Um, you really didn't even know that your person was out of love with you, Aquarius, already. But they could have actually denied a commitment with you and like immediately went and like jumped the broom on some shotgun wedding stuff with somebody else. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. And you could have been already asking like, dang, you know, things don't feel right. Is everything okay? And I feel like they suppressed the truth or they, they gave very little truth. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse here? I'm getting book in reverse. So this is somebody that definitely didn't share the knowledge. Like whatever they knew and what they knew was that they was moving on. Possibly to a different state. Some For some people, a different country. They could even be like foreign or from a different country, honestly. But um, I'm also getting nine and ten here. So what they weren't telling you was that they were they was unhappy. And because of that, they seeking out happiness beyond this connection. And that doesn't have to be a different person. But that could just be this person just wanting to move away and start fresh. And they're not telling you that. Why is the seven of wands here? And not only are they not telling you that, but I definitely feel like they get pissed whenever you bring it up. They could have a sick family member at a distance. And that could be another thing that's upsetting them. Yeah, okay, why is the page of pentacles here in reverse? That's just what I'm getting. I'm getting that this person is no longer defending this connection here. They no longer feel protective. They no longer feel responsible. They definitely relocating here. Why is the emperor in reverse? Son. They are moving to where it makes them happy. Okay. And this can be somewhere like Florida or some, somewhere where it's really hot all the time. But they're moving. And this makes them happy as hell. They're moving somewhere where they can make more money. Where they're moving towards abundance. And you just was left out the loop. Why is the four of cups here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and they're bored and giving half offers to this connection because they don't have much energy to feed to this connection because they already feeding this to somebody new. Whenever I get this guy, this is somebody that's met somebody new. So here they are as your man. <laughs> but they in reverse now because they studying somebody else. And so while they at home with you, I feel like this is you sitting right next to them like a pot of gold shining. But they looking this way at basically half empty cups. Because honestly, when you don't know somebody, that's exactly what it is. Like all you can really do is fantasize and daydream about what it would be like to be with that person but you don't know what it's like until you go off and be with that person okay so i'm i'm very anxious to know what are not anxious but excited to know if you got any third parties because it's already clear that this person does <laughs> okay wow we already 18 minutes in and i only got one segment done that's crazy Okay, <laughs> I'm going to try not to be too long because I'm already saying right now this is going to be about a 40-minute read for Aquarius. Okay, so how is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, No, currently feeling about any third party or side piece that they may have at this time? How is Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus feeling about any third party or side piece? That they could have in the first half of June. Truth. Thriving. <clears throat> so we're going to see if this is a relationship. Voyage is here. So you guys definitely could be on some kind of new path here. Because I'm seeing truth and thriving. Oh, I forgot. I'm getting three. One more. How is Aquarius? Y'all, openness. I feel like you're not open to love right now. Because openness actually came out in reverse. So I feel like you just trying to stand in your truth here. It's a lot of dead pastures here. Okay. So this situation could have left you completely 
drained. When I say drained of life force, um, this person seemed to just be around or keep you around just to have some type of supply or life force until they could move on to the next thing is what I'm getting here. Because they really could have been let you go a long time ago because that spread was horrible. If, that's, that, if that was anybody's true feelings towards you, it's horrible that they stayed in a connection with you feeling like that. Or they had you feeling otherwise because that mean they really had to be playing it off because that that type of energy is so obvious that somebody don't want to be around you if, if they speak in a truth like like i said somebody got to be playing it off if you get that type of energy and it ain't showing up in their actions you know what i'm saying like that's the actor they deserve an emmy for that okay so why is the why is truth here for aquarius uh third party Okay, so you guys have a king of wands that's coming around for you guys. Now, this person can be somebody that's honest and truthful here, okay? But I don't feel like you guys are as open to a, a new connection as you could be because maybe what happened before. Why is truth here? Wow. Okay. So, we're actually getting a king of wands and an empress. Okay, so this is definitely somebody here that's seeing you as the divine feminine energy you are. Um, like I said, things, it, so funny that this almost looks like the same tree, but one fruitful and the other one just looking dead. So I definitely feel like this connection has the potential to bring you back to life here. Wow, bottom of the deck. What do we get? Okay, so this can be a divine counterpart. Maybe they're not stepped all the way into their power just yet because I'm getting them as the king of wands and you as the empress. They could be a little bit younger than you. Let's get truth one more time. Wow, and the four of wands came right out. So the truth is, is that you got some type of divine love that's waiting and that's probably the reason why that other situation didn't work out. Why is thriving here? You guys are just growing and glowing from this real, new, genuine love. Why is thriving here? Knight of Wands in reverse. Devil in reverse. Yeah, so I feel like you're overcoming and letting go of people that was extremely toxic in your past. Like, people that just try to come in and out. Like, people that try to... Um, lure you with addictions, lower vibrational energy like sex, drugs, alcohol, stuff like that. Like you letting that go now. And I feel like you're thriving with that. You left the situation scathed and you came out as the empress. Why is openness in reverse for Aquarius? Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing though, guys. With judgment here. I do feel like spirit is trying to get your attention to let you know that this King of Wands energy is like some type of counterpart to you. Like I said, even if it is an age difference, um, a gender, not not gender difference, but an age difference, a um, status difference, any of that, a race difference, even if it's even if it's interracial or whatever, like spirit is saying, take life by the horns. You just left behind something that was very negative and you overcame this. So as a treat, you know, to basically set the record straight that, you know, the, the universe does love you. Spirit does love you. The creator does love you. You know, here is a counterpart that's worth your while here. This is the reason why nothing else worked out for you. Okay. Why is the openness in reverse? Get two more cards for that. Wow. Okay, so the reason why you um trying to ignore this, like, call, this trumpet blaring, letting you know, like, look, this is your divine counterpart is because you're still kind of heartbroken. So I feel like you kind of closed off to love, Aquarius. It's a good idea to try your best to try to heal this before this situation come in. Because if you're still in the energy of heartbreak, you could possibly lose an opportunity. Wow. And look at this. Coming up as the Queen of Wands. Okay. So we're getting King of Wands, Queen of Wands, and the Empress. And the Page of Wands in reverse. All right. So I'm wondering who this Queen of Wands is here now. 
because this can possibly be another energy for you just signifying that you're actually this this you are actually this person's um soulmate or it can be an opposing energy all right so we're gonna see why is the king of wands here spirit for aquarius Hmm. The King of Wands is showing up as poor. So maybe that's the reason why you're overlooking this connection. Because maybe this person has less than what you used to. Why is the Empress here? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Aquarius, honestly, this could be your ex-partner. Or if not, here you are as the empress that's still focused on that energy. And that's the reason why you are like not open towards love yet. Because I'm getting a new energy here, but an old energy that's crossing you. Okay? So this old situation can be still taking precedence in your present day life. And kind of hindering you from a connection that's meant to be happy, balanced. You know, that can possibly even be a twin flame connection with that 1111 there. But if nothing else, it could be a solid foundation for you. Why is the four of wands here? Main male is here. All right. So somebody wants to come in and actually offer you this stability. So don't be stuck on this person. That's no longer in your life anymore. Yeah, somebody is definitely... Um, ooh, hold on. Okay, yes. So, honestly, with this other lover that you just left behind, I feel like you lost a great deal to this person. Because I'm getting set in wealth in reverse. So I feel like whatever stability you had in this past situation, um, you know, it was kind of snatched from underneath you or whatever. And you finally now reaching a, a point of peace. So it's like, do I allow my guards down? Do I allow myself to embark on a new love journey with somebody if I don't know their intentions? Because I thought this last person was a good person and they turned out to be somebody that later ended up robbing me blind, you know? So I feel like you trying to let this situation go and like let this new situation in. I always see the flowers as like a new beginning, an apology, you know, romance, a date, or just somebody giving you a peace offering. But, you know, you trying to let go and allow positive change in your life, but you kind of maintaining this um, wounded type of energy or to tortured soul type of energy where you feel like, Everybody going to do the same thing to you. And maybe you've encountered the same thing multiple times and that's why you feel like that. But I also feel like you creating, you creating a cycle, a perpetual cycle in your life that, you know, those negative thoughts are continuing to bring up. Why is judgment here? Yeah. You going off of your old life and how things were. Yeah. Gosh, you guys, y'all are literally a prisoner by heartbreak. Y'all stuck in a mindset of everybody that that reaches, like, crosses paths with you is going to break your heart. Why is the Queen of Wands here? So, with this judgment and reverse clarifying this, you know, there definitely could have just been recently an ending and the masculine's life who you just met. So y'all kind of going through the same thing at the same time. You just left a, a, a toxic masculine. And they just left, you know, they possibly just left a toxic feminine. Why is the queen of wands here? Who could be this queen of wands? So if they was together for a long time, take it as it resonates. And that's the reason why y'all's energy wasn't matching. is because they already got somebody. Or they just left someone. Why is the queen of wands here? Wow. Yeah, this can be somebody's fiance, wife, girlfriend. But also.
also, I'm just getting something so different because I'm getting like, it's possibly one more for this queen of wands. Is this somebody new or somebody old? Because I'm getting that this situation is a secret. Like nobody knows that this person is engaged to them. Engaged and pregnant. This person is engaged and pregnant. Or somebody just going to the next level of commitment. But nobody knows this with the... um. Wow, that's so crazy. <laughs> I can't tell if this is the old person or some or you. I really can't. But I definitely do feel like... Wow, somebody got to choose between two people, an empress and a queen of wands. Well, we're going to check the outcome. But somebody is definitely secretly married or secretly engaged. Okay, so let's get the cross watchers energy towards you, Aquarius. What is the cross watchers current energy towards Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What is the cross watchers energy towards Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Mm -mm. What is the cross watchers energy towards Aquarius spirit? Delight in reverse. Okay. Okay. So this definitely could have been a person that you left behind that was unhappy about the connection. They felt like it was too heavy. When I think about delight, I think about something that's like, ah, 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 like just light. And I feel like the energy between you guys got way too heavy. <laughs> and that's why it's coming up as delight in reverse transformation. They see you as somebody that's changing and no longer taking action from them. Okay, so if this is an ex that's kind of looking back at you, then they just see you as somebody that they made very unhappy, okay? They see you taking new adventures, they see you changing and transforming, and they also see you no longer taking action towards them. Okay, so why is Delight here in reverse? Why is the light here in reverse? Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> oh, they see you as somebody that don't take no breaks away from work. Like, you don't have fun anymore. You don't. They just see you being very serious since you guys are not together anymore. Like, maybe you used to be very playful, very young acting. And now it's like you ain't for the play play. You just about your coins and focusing on work and trying to manifest new in your life. One thing I love about the Light Seers Tarot is that, you know, Eight of Pentacles means work, but also work is divination. And I see both in this card. So some of you guys are definitely like focused on, you know, using the elements of the earth to change our situation for the better here, you know, whether that's candle magic or whether that's really just being a more positive person and just like, aligning your chakras using the moon cycle certain things like that but this person don't see you for no play play you know they see you as a missed opportunity now you know maybe they when delight would delight come in reverse instead of that be, them instead of that being them meaning that you made them unhappy it could have been that you brought happiness to their life that they didn't recognize when they had you. You know, maybe this was not something that they saw about you until later. But they definitely see you as somebody that's serious now. The justice card came out. So they could definitely be getting some type of um, karma. I do feel like they want to open up to you here. They definitely watching. They watching. That's how they know how you are now. That you focused on work. And stuff like that. But the justice is actually coming out in the up right here. So this person could be, they could be a um, Libra for one. But for two, they definitely can be somebody that wants to try to balance out the situation and make it more fair. Rather that's just coming back to apologize or just coming up to give you um, the clarity that you never got. Because a lot of y'all, y'all don't even know what happened. Like when I say things spiraled out of control and you didn't know what to do. Um... You just had to leave knowing that it was the right thing to do by listening to your intuition. But I feel like this person can come back to try to speak some truth because the page of swords was in reverse in that first spread. So that definitely was them kind of waving a wand over your face like, ooh, you don't see me cheating. Ooh, 
this is me being faithful. Woo! Like, um, actually, no, I actually do see you and smell the sex off you. So get the back. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, get back. Why is transformation here? Why is transformation here? Yeah, they see you being happier now. They see you actually becoming more independent. And maybe you were very codependent um, when you were with them. But I feel like they also see like a lot of people's eyes on you. Like you, they may not be the only person watching you, but they could be actually watching the fact that other people are watching and wanting to be around you and wanting to take you off the market here. And with the moon card, I'm definitely getting that. Um, there's a sense to them knowing like that. There's a deep inner knowing like they know, like they know that your intuition is deep, Aquarius. So it's like a mystery to you, but it's like a lot of femininity and intuitiveness to you. But this person views you as deeply emotional. Some of you guys can have cancer in y'all charts. Okay. But we also got Leo here, Libra and Virgo. Okay. But here's the thing, regardless of what they may view you fondly, but either they know not to approach because they know it's going to be a waste of their time or they view you as a waste of theirs. So, I mean, keep it moving on them, Aquarius. That's one thing. Y'all don't need to deal with nobody, anybody that views y'all as a waste of time. And if they didn't come towards you because they knew they was going to waste your time, then be grateful because they waste your time the first time around. You know, so if you don't, if if you can't do nothing else, respect somebody that don't come towards you that know that they're not going to do nothing but the same thing over and over again. Okay, why is the page of wands here in reverse? They do wish they can um, reach out to you and they just feel like you're not going to make time for them. It's going to be like a cold shoulder type of energy. Or that you're going to just say you busy. Like, I'm just getting cold energy. They do see the value in you now. So, that's one thing I can say. Regardless of what, just know that. Because I'm not giving y'all false hope. This person not coming forward. They're not. This is all about thoughts. You know, they could have thought about it. But at the end of the day, I feel like their thoughts are, number one, I can't come back from what I did. Number two, they going to think I'm trying to waste their time. So, why even try Number three, I see them more happy than I can make them. Number four, they really just want to get the justice. I feel like at this per at this point, the person you was dealing with, they definitely can be feeling, they definitely can be fearing karma at this time. So they're like, man, let me hurry up and go apologize or let me go try to make things right. But that's the thing. Yeah. They want to make things right. Maybe they just want to tell you why the breakup happened, why this didn't work out. Or they could have left you for somebody and that same person broke up with them. Why is the page of swords here? Unexpected income in reverse. Took them for their money and everything. They could have moved this person in right after you moved out. All right. The Hermit in reverse. Oh, well, all I want to say is that it's multiple signs that's going through this, you guys. But this masculine look like they got dubbed by somebody. This has been a storyline for a couple of signs. I'm not going to lie. So all those other signs, this could be like a transit thing. I don't know. But there is a sense of people that have left connections for new people and had to make a U-turn because it didn't work out with those new people. I've been noticing that a lot lately. But whoever that was, yo, you're a person, a person that left you, they could have even started a family with this person and it didn't work out. Aquarius, you could be traveling. I mean, I'm talking about different country traveling, working for yourself now. You could have a new soul connection, which we already saw that. Um, but I just feel like you enjoying single life while it lasts. If you found somebody, it's not official yet. You could have just met them and be basking in a moment, you know, 
Um, I'm just getting at you rebuilding yourself from a tower moment. And of course, this person is looking at you in admiration because they know they left your life in fucking shambles. Like, how did they get up from where I knocked them down to? You know, but at the end of the day, y'all know one thing, we prone to hard lives. Us ruling the 11th house, and I just learned this. Um, I got to give a shout out to the reader because y'all y'all know I can't plagiarize. His name is like Kareem Spirit Works. Y'all check him out. His readings be real, real short. They be like two minutes, three minutes max. So, you know, you get a lot of a lot of little tidbits or just like a little daily update for two, two, like two minutes of your time. But he said, um, we rule the 11th house. And that's, that's also like the upside is like social life, friends, this, that. But the downside is hidden enemies. And sometimes our hidden enemies can even be in our lovers and our family members too. You know, and I feel like you you faced your bulk of that. We faced our bulk of that. So if we getting it good right now, it's because we, I don't want to say we old, but damn, it's about time. Hell, I mean, would y'all not agree? Okay, so let's get uh, the cross watchers energy towards their third party. What is the cross watchers energy towards their third party going forward? So they could be trying to move forward with this person, courage in reverse. They they just moving on with their life. I feel like they moving on in solitude because whoever it is that they wanted, I feel like either they didn't have the courage to step to that person or they stepped to that person and it, it didn't turn out to be what they thought. Okay. So it's one or the other, but I'm getting courage in reverse here. How's the cross watcher feeling about their third person, third party? adventures so at best um i feel like this person whoever their new person is it's it's like a new fun adventurous maybe this person is younger less serious about life or they could be older and they just got more room to move around while you know right now uh, aquarius i know a lot of us are in a bulk of of like building ourselves up so we don't have time for vacations and stuff like that but whoever this is you know they going forward with it either they 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 choosing to stay single or you know and just having adventures on their own and trying to get over whatever trauma was caused in that situation or they just with somebody that's really fun you know it's like a nice little adventure but we gonna check it out why is courage in reverse here for the cross watchers energy towards their third party spirit Ace of Swords. This person too afraid to speak their truth. So if they was feeling somebody romantically outside of you, I don't feel like they, I don't feel like they're telling this person the depths of their emotions about them. You know, I'm getting the Three of Pentacles. They probably work with this person. The Strength card, they resisting. They, again, cowardly. I mean, not cowardly, but with the lion here, I just think about the cowardly lion on uh, the Wizard of Oz. And funnily for this going for it, look like a yellow brick road, right? Yeah, going for it. So they just dropping the burden. That was y'all relationship. Like I said, the energy was real heavy. So it probably was burdensome for all, both of y'all, to be completely honest with you. I feel like they felt jaded from this situation too, okay? I'm definitely getting that they got scathed too, that um, they was in nine of wands, ten of wands in reverse energy. So honestly, it was heavy for them too. Whatever y'all went through, all the arguing, all the fighting, all of the indecision, all of the dating multiple people, it kicked their ass too. They could have also got their butt kicked by karma too. I do feel like they want to offer an apology, but right now, I feel like right now, this person is just enjoying youthful life. So this person was younger than you. Right now, they just traveling. They having a good time. This cycle is closed. Like, I feel like they wouldn't mind being friends with y'all. Y'all probably like, hell no. Nah. Um, you know, if they could transform the situation to a friendship, they would. They definitely don't want to be left out in the cold. But there also isn't any love here. So this is definitely somebody that's trying to friends on y'all, Aquarius. I know y'all like, get the get up out of here boy or girl okay all right guys so let's get the final outcome because we made this reading long enough it's already 43 minutes okay so let's see what is the final outcome between aquarius and their primary partner what is the final outcome between aquarius and their primary partner spirit
power in reverse. Yeah, this person be draining you. They drain your power. And you know why I feel like balance came up? Because y'all know what's a balance and what's a polarity? Freaking negative and positive. One of you guys is extremely positive and the other one is extremely negative. <laughs> and I do feel like you guys were meant to be equalizers. And they was probably meant to help your shadow side or for you to become more cutthroat because maybe you just too soft and letting people run over you and tell you whatever. Maybe they came into your life to show you, look, Messed, people with messed up intentions come in all type of packages. It don't matter if I look like the guy next door. I could still be a freaking sociopath and kill you tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even trying to get that deep. But I'm just trying to be real. Because there was a sense of you like, you? I didn't expect this from you. But I feel like this person, they did. They came into your life as an equalizer. It's like, don't don't give your power all away. Don't give away all your power. Don't overgive. That was the lesson that was meant to be learned here. Okay, Aquarius. What is the outcome between Aquarius and their third party? Hmm. Resistance. Like I said, y'all. Come on. Resistance and fear. Y'all sitting up here living in fear and resisting some type of growth or a new situation. Get out of y'all head. Stop letting this person be the puppet master in y'all life. Do y'all see them strings that's attached? Y'all don't want to be bound to fear and resistance. Okay, what is the final outcome between the cross watcher and their third party? Y'all, if this some lovely ass energy, y'all better get on board. <laughs> For real. What is the cross watcher's energy? towards their third party hunger this is a lustful connection whatever they in is very lustful hunger and abundance money hungry <laughs> what else can i say so they done probably hooked up with somebody that got some money and all of them adventures that they taking is probably on this person's dime but i'm definitely getting money hungry okay so this is a mama daddy i mean this is a not mama daddy but this is a sugar mama uh sugar daddy type of situation okay all right guys so i hope this reading helps somebody today help somebody let go hope somebody close the chapter hope somebody be okay with somebody being put behind them okay and it helps you to understand why certain things happened, if nothing else, because I know this is repeat information. And so I can't wait until we in new energy, guys. I can't wait. But at the end of the day, I hope this helps somebody. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.